Big Apple. 3 a.m. Hey, you guys. Hi, guys and gals. How are you doing today? Welcome back to KD Statues. I am KD. And today we have one of my favorite uh, characters. Actually, franchises, right? Like Ninja Turtles, that's my thing. That's my jam right there. Before MCU, before DC, there was this right here from 1984. Uh, I think I've been liking this since 1990. You know, the first time I saw the cartoon. But before we open this uh, Iron Studios 110th scale Raphael statue, the comic version, don't forget to like, subscribe, share, comment, all right? The, the combo, four, four things, just like the four turtles. Share, comment, like, subscribe, there you go. <laughs> okay, so let's get to it. Look at that guy. Look at that guy right there. Before we talk about him, see there's a few uh, pieces of debris there. It's gonna go straight to the box because I don't want to lose it. You have the ooze coming out of the sewer. Really cool detail that it's coming out from the inside. We have a part of a, a Mauser classic um, Ninja Turtles character, enemy. <laughs> You know, um, yeah, that's a part of the assembly. Really, really easy to do. The rest of the base there, you have Kawabanga, graffiti by someone from the Food Clan. Really nice. I really like those those little touches. You know, the shell, the the sh the belt there. You know, I like the leathery texture. The show looks pretty badass. And he's very veiny. <laughs> very veiny. You can see like the muscle tone. You can see like the a lot of details on, on his skin. And get and that goes for for all the turtles so far. You know, you see the red bandana. Unlike the other turtles uh, that had their bananas changed for the cartoon Raphael is the only one that kept the original color the sigh very sharp so careful while you unbox this mofo yeah and I really love the, the attacking pose the attacking pose is just awesome yeah wow I think we've got a winner here, guys. So far, uh, I think Raphael is better than, will place better than the, um, the Donatello and Leonardo statues. I think I gave them a, an eight. Uh, and this one here, so far so good. By the way, it comes, it comes with like, uh, like little pieces of like debris. I'm not gonna put that here because it will get lost, so I just put back in the box, right here. <laughs> and the assembly of this statue was already very different than the other two. For example, the Ninja Star, the Shuriken, it came already on the base. On the other, with the other statues, we had to uh, place them ourselves. The peg uh, usually comes on the on the statue itself, but here it comes on the base. So it's it's. 
I like it, you know, fits well. And uh, I think the biggest thing for me here is that the arms came separately. Why is that? Because the other two, I don't think they they placed the the arms all the way, uh, uh, the forearm all the way connecting to the other part of the arm. So you can see like some spaces. I don't like it. I don't like it. When you pay for a statue like that, it's supposed to be like near perfect, you know? So I don't like it. So with the magnets, I think they were able to do, uh, to get rid of the seams, at least uh, with my statue here. So I like it a lot. Also, I like they have, they have the, the dead mouser here, the head, the ooze, you know, it's coming out of the, the sewer, but also you can see inside and uh, they have some more ooze there. And also, I like the, the graffiti here. Very nice touch. There's a lot of details here, guys, in this small statue. And this is the comic book version. So the colors are a little bit more faded. Iron Studios also released the, the same statues, but they call it the regular version. So they're like with the different color bandanas and, and the turtles more lively. I mean, I get it. But if I had the chance, <laughs> if I have the chance, I will also get the other versions too of the turtles because I'm a huge fan. All right. Uh, and also, just like the other two turtles, uh, the base is not numbered. All right. They said online that they made a hundred of these. There's no way we can check it. All right. Because they didn't, didn't number the, the bases. So I guess we will have to just trust them. <laughs> okay, so I give this this statue a nine out of ten. Uh, why not a ten? Because because it's near perfect. This one, the Les Ronin statue, that's an eleven. <laughs> that's a ten. But this one is nine. All right, it's good. It's pretty good. And I really like the details here, guys. So yeah. So I'm gonna wrap this up, and I have uh, Michelangelo there to uh, get out of the box, and then I'll make another video. I think at the end of Michelangelo with all of the, the, the turtles here, so you guys can see. Okay, so this was the unboxing and review of the Raphael 1 10th scale comic book version statue by Iron Studios. Okay, I'll put the link below so you guys can get them. I don't think, I think they're still available, but I'll put the link below and then you guys can find out. Okay. Thank you for watching, don't forget to like, subscribe, share and comment below and I'll see you soon.